The fashion business in Africa is growing rapidly and has great potential. But while it's fascinating the global scene, back home, the youth are struggling to find a solid market. The fashion industry in Uganda is already harsh, as we know. Um, but we hope to sustain our business by introducing more partnerships. For example, we've already partnered with a construction uh, architecture firm, which has done all our design that you see here and created our interior deco. Um, and also artisans outside Kampala and within Kampala. These young women are making their first attempt at this complex and yet capital intensive business. They have a seat base in the capital, Kampala. This is, it looks very simple, but it takes a lot of manpower, a lot of skill, a lot of material, sourcing, transporting things. It is very expensive. So we do care about our product. We do care about age bracket for people who are earning an income and a certain kind of income. So that we are able to sell and meet our costs and continue to grow, expand and take. So what makes us stand out in the fashion industry is that um, we kind of move away from like the regular trends and we focus mainly on timeless pieces and we also focus on comfort and we're involved in the production process like we're actually there when these things are being produced so we, we, we like put our souls in it. All demand for such products is at its peak. These entrepreneurs must now confront the elephant in the room producing long-use items or fabrics that offer value for money.